spirit with all that you are. Your steady river flowing with grace and healing. This river so free, it's right. so beautiful 
The winewood sauce turned red that had no ingredients in it, indicating that it would turn red. It was a message about the legacy of love that she left. She left a legacy of love that grew and grew and grew and it grew. It was for us. And she never, ever gave up. She never gave up. I believe that a woman whose mother can never give up on her children. And sometimes you want to. And maybe sometimes it's good to. Because when you give up, you surrender it over to the Lord. And you say, okay, this is in your hands. <clears throat> you know, um, the legacy that she left was important. I'm going to the next frame there. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also, yet he praises her. This is a woman of God. And last night, if you were here, we talked about the things that God has given us, the robe of white and the robe of righteousness and the crowns, the many crowns that he will bestow to us, you know, and that we wear our armor for the battle here, but we know already that the victory is won. We talked about all these things that God has put in our pathway and dressed us with in the spirit to be able to meet the needs and walk this path that he's called us to walk in our faith. And because of those things that we focus on in our walk now, it's the reason that her children arise and call her blessed and her husband gives her praise. Those are the things, the attributes and characteristics. And we talked about the crown of glory. And glory, if you don't know, this is one of God's characteristics. Just like you have certain characteristics in your personality, glory is one of God's characteristics. And I was reading about this, and I was like, that is amazing. That is just amazing. His glory is so grand, and that it is so awesome that it's part of his characteristic. Next screen. Let's talk about the legacy. Hebrews 10, 16 to 23 says, This is a covenant I will make with them after that time, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their heart, and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sins is no longer necessary. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened up for us through the curtain that is his body that was broken. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with a full assurance that faith brings having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And this is the legacy. This is the legacy for every man and every woman. This whole picture right here, from the beginning of the cross and all that it meant, was what my grandmother instilled and then my mother instilled and then I have instilled. And his word does not return void. Amen. Amen.